Now listen to me, and listen to me very good. I don't care what it takes. I want Barry Stinch in that courtroom. Whatever you gotta do to do it, to make it happen. He slapped me. Francis Esquire the Sixth. He slapped me on live television. When I was trying to do a show to tell people of how to take care of the yeed. Weed and feed. Pretty ridiculous. I want him for everything he's got. Don, I really do. Whatever you can do to help me, I much appreciate it. God. Feels like this was just yesterday. <sighs> or oh, last week. Ah. Slot, and I want it back. God, I got touch. I'm so pissed off. I want him. I want him for everything he has. I want all his money. Whatever he has. Whatever you can do. I tell you that. I'll sign whatever you need me to do, Don. I really will. This is bullshit. Now, I want my options. What can we possibly do to get this man in a courtroom? Please, make sure to tell me now. Well, Francis, I'd be happy to tell you now. And there's a lot of things that we can do to get this guy in there. But it's not going to be easy. As I mentioned, does this guy have a lot of assets? Is he just, uh, you know, some, you know, some shit licker off the street who doesn't do jack anything? I mean, we're going to actually go to court with this. I need to have some kind of foundation of, of winning something. You know, I'm not going to take this man to court and, and walk out empty-handed. What a waste of fucking time. It's not in my budget. It's not in my budget. There's no budget at all if I do that. But on the flip side, though, Barry Stintz might be worth quite a hefty fortune. I mean, he did have quite a few episodes of How to Cook Stuff and that shitty movie stuff thing, and he did that grill shit as well, so I'm sure he's got money somewhere. It may be uh, close to a, a white hair of a fortune. <clears throat> you never know. So that's what we have to think about. So is it worth suing this man? Maybe. But he may be worth millions. I mean, he slapped you in the face on TV. I can understand that. It's too bad they didn't get that recorded. It's too bad we don't have any proof, but yeah, he slapped your face. And we should damn well be able to get at least 1.4 million out of it. I'm used to 3.6, but... <sighs> With this pole pusher, who knows? You know, millions would be fantastic, it really would. I'm not sure if the shit stabber's worth it, but I'll tell you right now. Anything he has, I want. I want you people to know that at home as well. That man humiliated me on TV. Everything he's worth, even if it's just a cardboard box, I want it in my fireplace burning with his dick. Not sure a little too over the top, but let's just stick with the law for now. I want those millions. I want whatever he's got. How can we do this? How can we do this? Well, Francis, there's about a million ways we can do this. I'd rather just do it the one way, though. Fill out this complaint paper here. Make sure you sign it. Put on there what your complaint is. He slapped you in the face in front of public. We'll try to hopefully get that proof. And after that, we, uh, we, serve, a, we serve some papers to his house in that alleyway. We let him know that he has to come to court. If he doesn't show up, he automatically win by default. But he may try to defend himself. And we have to be ready for that. So what I'll do is I'm um, going to get the paperwork ready so we can get that going. And we'll go from there. Thank you so much. Looking forward to working with you, my friend. Don, I thank you very much. You've been most helpful today. I appreciate it, and I'm sure we'll be in touch. Well, we're going to get something out of this deal. I have a really good feeling. I think you know what you're doing. I mean, honestly, folks, what's the worst that can possibly happen? I'm pretty confident. What do you mean, outside of court? How am I supposed to handle this outside of court? I don't know anybody. I don't have anybody who just, you call at a, at a click of a button, what am I have Joe Pesci show up at his house? Come a motherfucker and kill him? I, I don't have that kind of option. Unbelievable. You, you're supposed to be a, a lawyer. Wow, unbelievable. I mean, I don't know anybody. I have no idea. Wait, wait, wait. Fine, I'm willing to hear you. Who do you know, and who can we have it done with? I have many different people I know who do this kind of stuff. But unfortunately, there's nobody that can help you, Barry. 
I, they're out of touch. I went legit, I'm a lawyer now. I don't do that kind of work anymore. I don't even know those people anymore either. You know, I'm a lawyer. Look, I got a computer. I'm a lawyer. I got a computer. I do. But you know somebody. Oh well, yes, you goddamn well do. You work very close with this man. You've done many specials with him. And I guarantee he'll do this work for you. Who the hell are you? Look, if you're too goddamn stupid to know what it is by now, then you're dumber than I thought. Call him up. He'll take care of your mess. I guarantee it. Same burger you first. And I was like, yeah, I'll do that shit. I don't give a fuck.